The first skill in writing an argument is writing the central claim. It's a single sentence, but of course it's the most crucial sentence of the argument, and it's where you should start. So, let's find out how to write it. What exactly is a claim? Well, the claim is the point of your argument. It is the statement you wish to prove. Imagine that you are arguing with somebody. No, don't just think about fighting or contradicting them. Think about actually trying to convince somebody of your position. What exactly is that position? What are you trying to convince them of? What is the statement that you hope they b will believe is true? That's your claim, the one statement you are trying to convince your reader or audience of. For example, parents should allow teenagers to stay up as late as they wish. If you want to persuade somebody of this position, that's your claim. The claim is a single sentence, it is your opinion, and it's what you are trying to prove. Okay, so how do you write that claim? Well, let's take a look at the parts of the claim. First, we start with the responsible agent. Parents is the responsible agent here. That is the person or organization that can actually do an action that you are calling for. Do not start your claim sentence with there. Do not start your claim sentence with I think. In fact, if you look at your claim sentence right now and you see either of those beginning the sentence, stop. You need a responsible agent. Always start your sentence focusing on a person or organization that can do something. In this case, you're asking parents to do something. That's your responsible agent. Next, you use the word should. Should always signals an opinion. And remember, you're not arguing a fact. You are arguing your opinion. You are trying to prove it as fact. But right now, it's opinion. And if you were to state, parents allow teenagers to stay up as long, late as they wish, that would be determinable by research instead of logic. Right now, you are arguing that parents should allow teenagers to stay up as late as they wish. Any parent should do this. So include the word should. It's as simple as that. Finally, you are stating an action. You have that responsible agent, you're using the word should, and then you are telling the reader what you want that agent to do. Allow teenagers to stay up as late as they wish. So the claim involves three parts. The responsible agent, the word should, and then the action you want them to carry out. Is it easy to write this? Well, yes, it should be. Let's take a look at a statement that is not very clear. I think that students need computers to take home for doing schoolwork. Obviously, this is a student's idea of an opinion, and it expresses their belief on a given subject, but it is not yet a formal claim. How do we make it a formal claim? Well, let's ask, what should the agent be? Remember that we must consider the responsible agent. So what is it? Students? No, you are not actually asking the students to do anything. The responsible agent in this statement is implied, and that agent is responsible for the action. We will talk about providing computers to students. Who would do that? The school. Schools will be your responsible agent. Sometimes your responsible agent is not yet there in the rough opinion that you sketch. You must think who can actually do an action that you are looking for. In this case, it's schools. We'll follow the responsible agent of course, with the word should. And the word should fits in right there after the responsible agent. That should be easy enough. After that, I think about the action. In my opinion, I'm talking about students receiving computers. They'll take them home and do schoolwork. That means I'm asking the schools to provide that. So my claim ends. Schools should provide computers for students to take home to do schoolwork. You'll notice in the action I carry most of the original rough opinion. But my original rough opinion did not include schools or should. Now, my new formal claim is much more focused, much more specific, and much more easy to support when you are talking about developing a logical model. Schools should provide computers for students to take home to do schoolwork. Getting rid of this 
and sticking with this ensures that we have a formal claim that we can use in argument. Let's review. A claim carries three parts. The first is the responsible agent, the person or organization that will do something. The second is the word should, indicating that this is your opinion. The third is the action, what exactly you wish that the responsible agent would do. If you include all three parts, you've written a clear claim that you can proceed with to the next step.